Okay, everybody, I'm using reshades for Primal uh, Far Cry. Well, this one here is Gaia. G A I A. Now, if I pull up, let's go back in here. Now, let's pull up the reshade. Alright, let's do Primal Cinematic Revisuals. We'll just do a reload. Normally when you go ahead and you uh, load it up, it just it compiles it and looks through it and that sort of thing. Um, as you can see, it's different. It tones it down. Now, you can create your own pre presets if you want to with the reshade. Now, I may do a video on showing you how to install all this stuff, which isn't hard to do at all. It's actually quite interesting. And you could do this for most games, uh, for about maybe 99.9% .9 of the games out there, if it's allowed. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go out here and we're going to load the other Gaia, Gaia, or Gaia, or however you pronounce it, just so you can see the real differences here. Now I use uh, presets or uh, reshades for, oh, for all kinds of games. Um, so, anyway, let's get on with this and stop jabbering on my... You're starting to bore the crap out of me. There's Gaia Reshade, or Gaia. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Now, how do you go about doing this? Now, since, for some reason, with Far Cry Primal, it doesn't release your mouse. So you have to do it all by going down and selecting and setting. It, it's really quite a pain in the ass. Especially when you don't have a mouse uh, cursor. Um, geez, too bad I can't really show you right now, to be honest with you. Alright, so what we're going to do is I press spacebar. You don't uh, if you don't have a mouse, use, use spacebar and control tab. go through the settings and your up and down arrow keys now as you can see if I move down here I just press space bar now I can move about and turn things on that I'm wanting to turn on um, let's do cartoon see what the effects is oh crap okay ASCII and you can do the, the uh, down below there, edit global processor definitions. And you can go ahead and mess with that stuff as well. And you can create your own beautiful, beautiful uh, things for yourself if you want to. It's just wonderful what you can do. And like I said, there, you could do, oh gee, I haven't, okay, that's Magic DOF, Depth of Field, if you're wondering what DOF actually stands for. Motion Blur, Fake Motion Blur, uh, Film Grain, as you can see it got a little grainier. Uh, FXAA, if the game, if you really want to push it. High Pass Sharpen. But mess around with it. You can play it in black and white if you want. Night vision. Wow, that's horrible. Nostalgia. I wonder what that gives me. Well, I'd say nostalgia. Chromatic aberration. See how it blurs things? Anyway. Not going to get into everything on it. Technicolor. Ooh, that's interesting. That tones that down a bit. Tilt shift. There you go. Listen to the people that just scream. God rays. Now, that's an interesting one. That will, it's actually quite beautiful at night. Try dither. That's 3D. Whoa. Yeah, no, I don't think so. 
So as you can see, you can change all kinds of stuff with this shader. Make it into, turn it into anything you want. Create your own presets. Share your presets. But anyway, I'll uh, be doing a video later on. Maybe later on today. Uh, maybe. But, um, let's see what it looks like at night time here, shall we? Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the video here and then I'll start trying to think if I want to make one for... Okay, take care, folks.